can be applied to any surface. Most commonly, it's used on walls. Um, one of the nice things about chalkboard paint is it's water soluble, real easy to use, and once it's applied and it's dried, it's scratch resistant. Now, it comes in two different colors, green and black, your choice. It's a great product to be used in your kid's bedroom to promote his creativity. It's also really nice to use in the kitchen where you can put menus on. You can use it at your office, okay, as reminders, and also use for company memos. So there's a lot of variables for using chalkboard paint. Now, a couple things you'll need when you're starting your project. You'll need a foam roller, you'll need a tray, you'll need a paintbrush, and before you even start in with the uh, process of applying it, you'll have to do a little bit of prep. And we're gonna show you on that video, but what you're gonna need for the prep is you're gonna need a couple putty knives, some spackling, you're gonna need some tape, preferably a product called frog tape, and you'll need either their tape measure or a measuring stick to measure out the area that you're gonna work on. So once you've decided on the wall that you're gonna apply your chalkboard paint to, you need to prep it. So you wanna take some sandpaper and lightly sand over the area, and then wipe it off with a rag. And then you wanna apply your spackle to imperfect areas, either holes or some uh, cracks. Once the spackle's dried, you wanna sand that again. And then you wanna prime that surface. Once it's primed and dry, you want to take the frog tape, measure out an area that you're going to do, a square area, with your ruler or your tape measure, and apply the frog tape vertically. Once that is done, you're all set to apply your paint. Okay, so you've completed the prep, and now you can apply your first coat of chalkboard paint. What you want to do is stir it up really well, Take your brush and cut in the edges around the square. Then take your foam roller and roll out in a W form and um, roll on the first coat of chalkboard paint. Let that dry, I would say overnight, and then you can apply a second coat the next day. So the second coat has been applied. You should wait ideally 48 to 72 hours for it to really cure. At that point, you want to take some chalk and rub it on the surface to get it prepped for final uh, working ability. So one other point I want to make, say you have a chalkboard wall or a paint that has been in your bedroom for your kid and the kid grows up and he doesn't want it anymore. What do you do? Well, lightly sand it, scuff it up, all right, prime it, and then paint the color you want and you're done. That's it, no more chalkboard paint. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. This is Dan Frost from HDF Painting, the fine art of painting. This has been Top Shop with Frost.